To Dunedin now, where the population is set to swell by 50% this weekend as 65,000 people flock to see Ed Sheeran. The British pop star is playing three gigs at Forsyth Bar Stadium tomorrow, then on Saturday and Sunday. Mike Thorpe with the concert event locals say is bigger than anything they've ever seen. Oh, Dunedin, you've officially lost your head. Head. Lost your head. I've made an Ed Sheeran doll that hopefully I can give it to him. I and mean, he's lovely, so he's very cute. Paint the town Ed, they said. You did. Do I look like Ed's roll-on deodorant under here? Until vandals done Ed in. Well done, Dunedin City Council. All cleaned up already. Edited. The Octagon, the Ed centre of town, is all but eight ways closed. I'd say it's going to be a party atmosphere for five days. Been moving a lot of kegs and, uh, yeah, I should be huge by the end of this weekend. <laughs> of course, others are a little ginger, unimpressed by Pop's biggest brand. They couldn't give a Hayley Holt. I'm not even going. Why not? Because <laughs> I'm not a massive fan. Are you excited about Ed coming to town? Uh, personally, no. But the majority are Pump Ed, Psych Ed and Excite Ed. We've got Mum coming down from Auckland, everyone's here for the weekend. Is Mum staying at your place? Mum, mum is in for, yeah, Mum is into the flat with a few of our other flats mums. I'm very amped, yes. I've been amped for a while. We bought the tickets in May, so it's been definitely a long time coming. And now 60,000 visitors are heading this way. I'd like to see the, the town painted in Ed, so that's pretty cool. This Easter weekend, the Edinburgh of the South will be humming. Wow, it looks so like it fun. is going to be humming. What a great city Dunedin is. Mike Thorpe has turned up in Dunedin a day early. An early bird catches the worm, that's what they say, Mike. What's the vibe like? Jeremy, you're quite right. The early bird does catch the worm. We uh, found the early birds, in fact, camped outside of Forsyth Bar more than 24 hours before the gates opened. In fact, we were lucky enough, I think, to probably find the biggest Ed Sheeran fan in all of Australasia. How many times have you seen Ed Sheeran? Uh, 15 so far. Whereabouts? Uh, the UK, Australia, New Zealand. So I went to all three in Auckland as well, so now all three here. You've got a problem? Probably, <laughs> yeah. Have you met him yet? Um, I met him when he'd done like promo in Australia at the beginning of last year, but it was just like a quick photo and stuff, so it wasn't really a proper meeting, but yeah. Ed, come on man, do the right thing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Uh, now, if there's one thing Dunedin does better than most, it is hosting events. They were certainly the highlight of the Lions Tour last year, both with Kiwi fans and Lions fans alike, and I think it'll be exactly the same right the way through the Easter weekend when they host Ed Sheeran. Now, speaking of hosting, we're not entirely sure where Ed Sheeran is going to be staying, but I can confirm there's been a number of offers from flats on Leith Street and Castle <laughs> Street. If you need to crash somewhere, Ed, you're more than welcome. Well, can I just say, I went and hung out in Castle Street. And look, I tell you what, the residents of Castle Street are lovely, lovely people. But there's no way I would stay in their flat, even if they attempted to clean those grotty places oh, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> there are some very clean flats down in Dunedin along Castle Street. A lot of them don't have doors. But no. there's some good airflow going yeah. on there, which Look, is quite... Look, Ed is going to have fun. I tell you what, he brings quite the vibe to town. Certainly but Dunedin, does. having that many people, tens of thousands of people heading to Dunedin, it is going to go off this weekend. Must be weird arriving in a town with a mural of you. Yes, you a little strange, strange. A little bit strange. I think that would be strange.